All right. Well, welcome to the 30-Day Collagen Loading Challenge. And I'm Dr. Linda marquez Gedine, And just want to welcome you to this challenge and why we are doing this. This is going to be a four-week program. So you're going to be doing it at your own pace. Um, and it's pretty easy to do. And what we're going to do is every Tuesday, the next four Tuesdays at 6 o'clock, we are going to be... Um, on here and I'm going to pretty much go over we have a plot um, if we have it all laid out for you you know what is collagen the types of collagen how does it help for um, for beauty how does it help for overall health um, we've got a whole outline of you know every week how it even helps for your joints um, GI tract so what does collagen do and that's what we're going to cover for the next four weeks and Every week, we're going it, to, it's really only going to be about, um, probably about 20 minutes. So it's going to be simple. Your homework is going to be really easy. It's basically, you're going to drink collagen. So let's see where we are here. So week one, what we're going to cover is why the collagen challenge, what it is, why we're lacking it, the types of collagen, um, collagen boosters, and how to consume collagen. So this is why we need collagen okay you can see here that by your by the mid-20s you start making less of it we break it down and we don't replenish it in our body um, lifestyle stressors will deplete it and basically collagen is like the glue that that holds everything together so this is what collagen looks like and it's found there pretty much everywhere in your body you're going to find collagen. So you can see the collagen here, and you see how you have this, these fibers, okay? And each fiber is made up of a helix, and it's you can see here, these strings here or strands here. So you've got a triple, um, triple helix here. That's what collagen looks like, okay? It's the most abundant protein in the human body. 20, it makes up 25 to 35% of the protein content. So think about it as a glue that holds these structures together because literally it's found almost everywhere and you're going to find why you need to have this and why we're doing this, cal this um, challenge. So the, the collagen will contain anywhere between 19 and 20 amino acids. It just depends on the product. The most important ones are going to be proline, glycine, um, and lysine. Those are the most important ones for at the actual production of collagen. So you can see here that they're really, really long fibers. And uh, here you can see that triple helm helix um, configuration and how it's like a rope there. Okay. The next thing here is, you know, why is it important? Think about this. 75% of, of your skin is made of collagen. Bone is 30%. Your blood vessels are 40% collagen. And then your joints, the ligaments, 90% is collagen. Um, I'm going to move this out of the way. 80% is in the tendons and 70% is in the cartilage. So there's a lot of collagen. Um, so you can see now why it's important to have collagen. And we are, we're not really consuming it. Um, we're not consuming enough of it. So, you know, we're lacking it because we're depleting it. Stress will deplete your um, levels of collagen because of cortisol. Cortisol creates inflammatory response. Exercise, the muscle breakdown of it will also deplete it. And smoking will decrease the productions of type one and three collagen. We're gonna talk, talk about what one and three are, are, what they are, what do they do, where they come from. We deplete it because we're not getting enough sleep because that's the time that the body's repairing. Most of us are not functioning off of seven or eight hours sleep, but more like four or five if you're lucky or just going to bed too late. Sun damages actual the dermal layers. So you can see here, this is the dermis and you got the epidermis, but when you get sunburn or you're out in the sun, this is the layer that you're destroying right here. As you can see the middle pink layer right here, I don't think you can see my, um, a little arrowhead there but if you see the picture to the left you can see that the pink part right there that is the dermis so that's being destroyed by sunshine 
So 20 minutes in the morning is great. Other than that, you don't really need to be out in the sun um, a whole lot. Sugar will deplete it. So sugar, and especially combined with proteins, you get something called advanced glycation end products, okay? And they will, they will trigger an inflama inflammatory response. That inflammatory response destroys the collagen. So that's another reason why. We're not replenishing it. This is one of the reasons why we're lacking collagen. Our sisters, our ancestors, they ate nose to tail. I put a, a, a picture here of some a chicken, like chicken um, drumstick, you know? And with your drumstick, when I know, I mean, I would eat that, I'd eat the skin, I would gnaw on the tendons and everything. Most people, what do they do? They pull off the skin and they only eat the meat. They don't actually eat the skin or the tendons because we've been told what skin is bad, it has too much fat. This is one of the reasons why we have, we're having such an issue with why we're lacking collagen. We're not eating the skin of fish. We're not eating the skin of, of, of chicken. Um, we're not eating the membrane that's around the, um, the eggs. Like when you boil the eggs, you know, people peel off the membrane. So we're not eating that. We're not eating the, the um, tendons. We're not even eating the bones. So you should be able to eat this entire piece of meat here, including the bones. But the way you eat the bones is you make bone broth out of it, you know, until the bones actually disintegrate. Those, that's where you're getting your collagen from. And our ancestors ate from nose to tail. The other thing is there's different types of collagen. So there's at least 28 different types of collagen, but we're only gonna talk about the more important ones. There's, there's one, two, three, four, five, and 10, but 90% of your body is made out of type one collagen. So that is um, type one. So you find that in your skin, your, your arteries, your bone, your teeth, your tendons, your ligaments, pretty much everywhere, but that's the major areas you find it in. Type two is in the hyaline cartilage, cornea of the eye. Type three, it's usually found together. It's like the cousin of one. Wherever one is, three is hanging out with them. So we find it in the blood vessels, also in some of the organs, the spleen, lymph node, uterus, skin, intestines. And four is often found with two, and you find that in the eye lens, so you know, the eyeball, the kidneys. And then you have type five that also kind of supports type two here. So when you usually see one and three together, you see two, four, and five together. Um, this is really specific for your um, your hair and the surface of cells. And then you have 10 that helps with the bone formation and also the cartilage. So as you can see, it's those are the different types of collagen, but 90% of the collagen in the body is going to be type 1. So where are the sources? Like how do you get collagen in your body? Well, well, since we make a huge percentage of our bodies made up of type 1, that's mostly coming from, from cow, from bovine. Um, it's also coming from fish, mostly cod or, um, cod or haddock, eggs, and bone broth. Then you've got type 2. Like type 1 is great for the skin. Um, type 1 and 3 are great for the skin. And see if your microphone is on. Um, the other one is, you should be able to hear me. I'm hoping that you are. Um, the type, the type, let's see here. Type three here is the bone, um, sources are bone, uh, or bovine eggs, fish, bone broth, and then type four eggs and the multi-collagen support. And so is um, five and multi-collagen support and eggs. And the same thing with 10 eggshells and chicken. That is why I wanted you to, let me see if I can get this here. Okay, that is why I was recommending this right here. This is a, um, a product that we're we're testing right now. That's why I had you all get the um, Peacock um, Keto Multi Collagen because it has um, it has all the um, all the brands in there. So I'm getting here that y'all can't hear me, but the audio. It, but it's being picked 
up. So I'm not sure what's going on. Let me see if we can. Okay. Okay, can you all hear me now? Can you hear me now? If you'll let me know, we, I changed some of the settings there. We are recording this, and if it doesn't go through, then we're going to have to re, um, uh, there'll be a presentation given to you. So I'm sorry, if, I'm not sure if you can still hear me. Um, if you can hear me, let me know, or just let me know. I can't, I can't hear you. So this is the type of collagen as well. There's our, our, the other one was a collagen. These are collagen boosters, vitamin C and hydrolyzed collagen. So you are not actually, um, when you consume the multi-collagen, when you consume this, you are getting the, um, okay, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get on here, see if we can hear, hoping that you can hear. Um, Collagen boosters would be vitamin C, hydrolyzed collagen, vitamin C. You actually need vitamin C in order to build collagen. You have to have it. So berries are good sources, lemons. You don't need a whole lot. 75 milligrams is the recommended daily allowance. But right now, because with COVID going on, we have uh, 2,000, you know, I'm recommending between one to three grams of um, vitamin C. So you don't need as much as long as you have it throughout the day, you should be fine. Um, go for berries and lemons and you have hydrolyzed collagen, which is broken down into smaller pieces. And these are the collagen peptides as you see in here, okay? <laughs> Uh, so this, these actually will boost your own production. Let's go on to the next one, you know, so how do you consume collagen? How much should you have? Well, we're doing a collagen loading for 30 days. You do it in two different forms. You can do it in capsule form or you can do it in powder form. This is the powder form that I wanted you all to, to um, consume. 30 to 50 milligrams a day is kind of like a good collagen loading phase. Um, 30 grams for women, 50 grams for men. You only do it for a month, every single day for a month. And then after that, you can probably do about nine to 10 grams a day, which comes out to about a, a scoop of this, okay? Um, you, if you're, some people think, well, it's gonna be hard on my kidneys because I'm having more protein. This protein is like pre-digested. It's easy to break down and that's why you know you'll be able to have um it shouldn't be hard on your system if you want to be a little bit more safe and cautious then what you want to do is you will um you can have like some dandelion tea horsetail tea for um, kidney support and that's what i'm doing right now as i'm doing this the next one is um the next one here that how you can add it in is coffee. You want to add one scoop of blend, uh, one scoop to the blended um, bulletproof coffee, which is basically coffee, a tablespoon of grass-fed butter, one table of MCT oil, and then you just add that in there. That's we have a recipe on our website. Next thing, the way you can add it is in smoothies. Here's a good smoothie recipe: one cup of coconut milk, half a cup to one cup of berries, um, half avocado to keep it thick and also for some healthy fat and put one scoop of collagen. That's another way that you can add it into your diet. Another way is adding soups. Mix one cup, mix one scoop and collagen in your soup, or you can just drink it. That's another way you can get it as well. Um, the other thing is um, you can mix it in with your eggs and that's how you're getting to, um, that's one of the ways that we can add it as well. Looks like we all might be still having uh, some, okay. Okay. So one of the ways that I've been adding it, actually for my daughter more than for me, is I'm making her this dole whip, you know, what, what you have at Disney. And I put a cup of frozen pineapple and like a Vitamix, a scoop of collagen, just a little bit of water, a dash of stevia. I put a tiny bit of raw honey for her, for her, and then I whip it and I blend it. Um, 
and that tastes amazing. So that's the only other way she's drink because she's playing sports right now and I want to make sure that I keep her joints healthy. You could be sneaking in collagen to your, um, your family's meals and pancakes and meatloafs and teas and hamburgers, sweet potatoes, hot and cold teas, baked goods, sauces. Those are some ways you can add in collagen as well. So what I'm going to have you do for the next 30 days is I want you to track your collagen. So you're going to track it and starting with day one, you're just going to check off every single day that you're having collagen. And I just want you to have three servings a day. So you have serving one, serving two, serving three. It should be easy in the morning at lunch and dinner. It's very easy to have. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, have drawings, so stay connected with us in our Facebook account. Tag us, and we will put your name in a drawing. And every at the end of, uh, I think we're going to do it on Mondays, we're going to um, announce who the winner is of the drawing, and we're going to give some pretty cool prizes away. All right, so that is it, and hopefully uh, you all were able to, hopefully with this recording, we'll get it out. Um, we'll go from there, and we will see you next week.